Welcome back to U4, where now we're watching Antigua and Barbuda, attempting to survive the cruel, cruel world of U4. Will they manage to survive? Probably not. Will Castile probably eat them? Eh, it's like a 50-50 on Castile or Portugal. Uh, technically a 33 if you want to count in Spain. But either way, Antigua and Barbuda could survive, but it's unlikely to say the least. So, let's just watch as I slowly descend into madness, watching two islands that have a colonizing idea because I gave it to them. Probably not colonized for the entire game. I just can't wait. So we do actually have a colonizer that has actually arrived. Um, it's Portugal with 19,000 troops. They've landed in Puerto Rico. It may just begin to attack Antigua and Barbuda. And all at the same time, though, I don't know if they will. And now we have Castile and Portugal beginning to look in their direction. So really, it's only a matter of time before they're completely and utterly up obliterated. And to be honest, the Great Powers list is Venice, England, Muscovy, Denmark, Ottomans, Castile, France, and Ming. Yeah, Austria's been kicked out and Venice looks pretty strong for now. It's only a matter of time before the Ottomans come in though. Denmark's been able to hold on to Sweden for now. All debatable, though. All debatable in the future. And they are beating um, Scotland for Shetland over here. So it's not all horrible. France kicked out Britain. And Poland may have gotten Lithuania. We're supporting, we're supporting them. But that's going to work out. Looks like Denmark's going to be pretty powerful in this universe if... If they can keep it together. But it does look like they are collapsing at the moment. Won't take too much longer for these guys to eventually get obliterated. Because I guarantee Antigua and Barbuda are not as strong as they probably should be to win this game. They just aren't. And they will definitely fall because of that. It is now a little bit past 1492, and the first colony in the New World has been made uh, by Portugal. And that colony may just declare war against Antigua and Barbuda. It's always unknown whether um, it will take it over later, now, or never, but... The tech difference between these two states is pretty high, I would think. 767 versus 445. So, with two mil techs ahead, Portugal and Caribas should be pretty well off against Antigua and Barbuda. So, not much hope there. Great powers currently is Ottomans in first. Ming in second, France in third, Muscovy fourth, Castile fifth, Austria sixth, Poland seventh, and England eighth. Nothing out of the ordinary there, so I'm not even going to bother looking around the world. If it was something crazy, maybe just, but I'm hoping that this just ends fast. But for some reason, I'm starting to doubt that logic. Especially when. Castile decide that they're going to just skip the Caribbean and start colonizing Brazil. That that was kind of the point when I realized that this is going to take a while. And that this is not going to be ending anywhere near fast. So, can Antigua and Barbuda actually survive an EU4? Well, they're doing it right now. But could they seriously last for much longer? 
I guess we'll just have to wait and see. And probably pray. Because this is taking way too long. And there is very, very little action in the Caribbean right now. <laughs> very little action. Antigua and Barbuda are now facing a new threat in the form of Castile. Castile. Castile has now made it to Trinidad and Tobago, and it seems like they are now cornered over here in their four little islands. Will Antigua and Barbuda survive? Who really knows? France, number one great power right now. Ming is somehow staying on, on time with institutions. And then the Ottomans have already just decimated the Mamluks. It's it's a weird game already. I mean, look at this France. They've ate all of Savoy. And Austria isn't even the emperor. So they could probably push into the HRE pretty easily, too. So this is going to be a great continental France game. Bad Austria game. Venice might be doing okay, actually. They've, they've carved out a good chunk of northern Italy. Bad Pope King, though. And then, we have Finland up here in the north that broke free. Uh, for no apparent reason besides that they wanted to be free. Denmark took parts of Scotland. That's all I have to say about that mess. Muscovy's doing alright. Nothing crazy. Persia's, Persia's dead. I don't know what Hajimaut thinks they're doing, but they think they're doing stuff. I don't know if they're... <laughs> well, why are the Mamluks down here? That's the bigger question. And then Ethiopia, big. Big Ethiopia. Beyond that, um, I mean, Japan's doing stuff. They've conquered uh, parts of Salon over here. And Oirat looks like they may just form the Shangzi. Or whatever they're called up there. And Ming, they, Ming could still explode. Um, really, they can explode at any time. It doesn't matter. Vidge, though. Vidge is looking like they're doing pretty alright. They're still allied with John Poor, Kalpi, and Sugarja. So, at least they have one powerful ally that they can use to wipe out like states like Malwa, Orissa. As long as they're not allied with John Poor. Although it doesn't look like Mal was allied to very many people. And they may have... No, they're not at war with Vidge right now. But they could very well be at war with Vidge at any moment. As long as Vidge can stay up on tech. Which... They have pretty good mill tech. Comparative. Um, Morocco's trying to retake... Actually, no, Morocco's getting absolutely slaughtered. What am I saying? Yeah, Lithuania is free, and it has Gotland as a <laughs> as a junior partner. How 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 does that work? Oh my goodness! They got the Pirate Republic under their belt. Well, they just gotta fight off the Muscovites now. Good luck on that one. Poland might be fed to the Ottomans though, pretty easily here. Yeah, yeah, they're gonna get fed to the Ottomans. There's no doubt in my mind on that one. Beyond, it really, really, all we need to focus on is Antigua and Barbuda. Can they survive? No. No, they're not. It's funny that it's even a question. Antigua and Barbuda are just going to fall eventually. I'm surprised they made it this far. But also, there's one less colonizer out here. We got Great Britain, we got Portugal, and Castile. I wonder what the other one's doing. It's not like it's going for a continental war to conquer all of Italy and the Holy Roman Empire or anything. I mean, that would be insane if it was going to do that. Probably is, though. That's definitely what they're going for. And it would be scary if they can actually manage that. If they can manage it, go right for it, France. Go right for it. But of course, we probably won't see that time because Antigua and Barbuda is almost destined to fall.
Antigua and Barbuda has expanded quite a bit. They have expanded into the islands of Guadalupe and expanded into uh, the St. Vincent Islands right here. So they're not looking all that bad, but the Portuguese are definitely about to ruin their day. And they are finally getting some institution spread into St. Vincent. Uh, which will probably help with their attack, which is extremely low right now. It's 777, and I think the world should be at, like, 11s. But for some reason, I think it, yeah, it's 12s now. They should be on 12s if Portugal's on tech. So they are doing very, very horribly at the current moment. Also, Spain is beginning to definitely encircle Portugal over here. Just a little bit. Great Britain's in Florida. And of course they're in Newfoundland. And then this this is what surprised me. The Ottomans have actually made a landing into um, the Guiana Brazil territories here. I know Guiana is like further north here, but it's in a weird spot <laughs> for me to be trying to explain it. Castile's over here. Do, actually, no, Spain. It's definitely Spain is doing stuff, and Portugal owns Argentina. Fairly normal stuff there, there. Ethiopia is still large, and the Ottomans are expanding at a quick rate. France as well is expanding, taking over parts of northern Spain and Italy, as well as pushing as far as Luxembourg over here. Or actually, no, they pushed past Luxembourg, so they're doing pretty well. Denmark still holds parts of Scotland. They did lose their Finland territory over here. Sweden's still looking pretty rough as well. Although they are allied to big players. Russia is large and still definitely expanding. Currently, it's England, Shun, Portugal, Russia, Austria, Spain, France, and the Ottomans. Austria is definitely dying at an alarming rate. Riga took over the Livonians. Japan is still fighting itself in Yamana, which they're actually being occupied by someone. Yamana Iko Iko, which is probably the rebels. Yeah. Yamana Iko Iki. There you go. That's a mouthful. Vidge is still doing a whole lot of damage over here. Orissa is no longer looking that powerful, and these guys are beginning to coalesce around Gujarat, but that's probably not going to last. Oh, Ethiopia is also getting very close to Mecca, so we'll see if Ethiopia can actually take it. But they should be able to survive, at least to the end of the game, with borders like that. Beyond that, Antigua and Barbuda is currently surrounded by the European powers and are finally colonizing. I was waiting for so long for them to begin, and they finally started colonizing. It took them way too long. But maybe, just maybe, they'll make a breakout somewhere. Maybe they can push back the Portuguese or Caribbean or... New Granada, but just seems unlikely. And it seems like the end for Antigua and Barbuda is very near. I wouldn't get your hopes up for something past 1575. Antigua and Barbuda is at war. Currently, Caribbean has declared war upon them, and really, Caribbean is pretty powerful when you compare it to a four island nation or they have more than four islands but you get the point very weak very small and caribbean is literally the entirety of the caribbean almost i mean if they conquer antigua and barbuda they would be the entirety of the caribbean so really they, they should be all out focusing on these islands over here. Uh, of course, they need to conquer um, St. Vincent as well, but 
these are their home islands. If you conquer these, they're in a horrible, horrible spot. And Caribbean is currently winning as well. Nothing much else is happening in the world right now that I haven't already talked about, such as France being crazy and the Ottomans starting to colonize down here. Nothing too crazy. Um, I do believe North America is being colonized by both New England and France. But for now, Antigua and Barbuda it probably needs to survive the hardest test that they've had to fight since the beginning of the game. Can they do it? Will they just completely fail? Are they now at war with also Portugal? Oh, the questions are endless and bountiful. But we'll just have to see how it all turns out. Antigua and Barbuda has officially lost the Caribbean War and has been reduced down to only Antigua. Actually, no, Guadalupe. <laughs> Definitely Guadalupe. But they have lost literally everything else and is being left with virtually nothing at this point. Caribbean is now looking at very, very powerful when compared to Antigua and Barbuda, so it is definitely not looking too good for them. Beyond that, we still have French, British, Spanish, and Portuguese colonies just littered about. Not really a whole lot going for any of them. Ottoman Brazil has been formed. And I don't think anything too crazy has gone down. France is still here. Spain is still here. No one's just evaporated. I mean, Venice does own Corsica, but that's not crazy enough. We need to see something bizarre. Like Riga owning all of Livonia. Or Denmark beating Sweden up. Something around that. Who's even in this war? Sweden is at war with Denmark, Brandenburg, Friesland, and Utrecht. While Denmark is at war with Russia and Sweden. Yeah. That seems like, uh... That seems like the end of Denmark. Vidge is still growing. Very, very, very powerful Vidge. Shun is growing as well. Constantly pushing against these Chinese miners over here. So they probably hit Dolly. Dolly was the one that killed Ming earlier. Took a big chunk out of him. But you never know. Shun might just get obliterated by Dolly as well. That would definitely be a sight. Beyond that, I'm not seeing much. The Ottomans are still definitely growing. But really all we care about is that Antigua and Barbuda has now been forcibly moved to Guadalupe, which will definitely influence how things go on from here on out. Will they survive? Or how long will they survive? Okay, so you know how I said Caribbean declared war on Antigua and Barbuda? Well, Portugal never got involved in that war. So, now Portugal does not have a peace timer with Antigua and Barbuda and have officially declared war because they did not have a peace timer. So, considering Antigua and Barbuda is the OPM right now, they're just straight up done. <laughs> because now, yeah, Caribbean. Caribbean has once again landed in the islands. So it is now done. Um, Antigua and Barbuda have officially begun to be integrated into Caribbean. And Antigua and Barbuda has fallen. They have been full annexed by Portugal. And it is the end of the game. They have survived till 1567, with the winner of this universe being France, just by a narrow margin. 
It is over. Probably the most useless nation of them all has fallen. But we are far from being truly done.